how to make your router perpendicular to your work bed. Drawing a little bit here, getting this a header here. Um, here's the router bed, and it um, should be perpendicular to your work. Straight up and down. Well, it's done at an angle, and you go to the surface of a piece of material, and you get these little cuts, and you actually won't get a straight, a straight flat finish. And it's opposite if it's the angle the other way. Furthermore, when you get on the edge here, you're not going to get a nice cut here either. It's going to be these little sawtooth cuts. So how I come up with fixing it, and I just I 3D printed this. It's a block of plastic, a couple quarter inch bits, a couple quarter inch holes in the 3D printer, and that's all it's to it. So what we do here. center on the workpiece, but where you can, where you're able to swing on both sides. Oh, forgetting one thing. Before you do any of this, you want to take and, and uh, surface your bed top. This one's not a surface because I'm going to replace it anyways. But what you'll do is you'll, you'll measure the distance from one side, put a line, go to the other side all the way over, put a line, take a tape measure, measure there, go on your favorite CAD program, draw a square, and then run a pocketing thing on it, pocketing cut, and you know, take off whatever, take off ten thousandths. So your your bed's flat. But if your router isn't true, your bed's actually gonna turn out like this. So after you get done doing this, but you still this is important to do in the first place because this side is higher than this side, it's gonna throw this whole thing off. So run a run a run a fishing pass over the top of your bed, true it up. So you bolt in, and this can be anything, two by two, a uh, hunk of aluminum, anything, as long as you can drill a couple holes. So what you do is, you go on this side, push this down, and then swing it around. And at my side, this, on, my, on this bed, it's, it's low on that side, so it's actually getting tight over here. Let's get it there, bring it over here. And I know you won't be able to see that on, on camera, but that's about two sheets of notebook paper fit off on that side. So this router is tilted this direction. So to fix it on this router, the way I'm cheap, the way I mounted it was a couple muffler clamps. All I have to do, take a wrench, go and loosen them up, twist the whole router just a little bit, and tighten it back down. And keep checking until you, until you have a straight. And not only do you want to do side to side, but you also want to do front to back. So you would do the same thing here, and then run it, run it around back. And unfortunately, with this I got my bits too tall, but you'll get your get your router straight up and down, front and back, and that'll do away with these cuts. And you'll end up with a you'll end up with a flat finished base, much better than what you had to start with. And this literally takes ten minutes to do, so it's real easy and you'll definitely benefit from it thanks guys thanks for watching guys uh, please uh, please give a thumbs up if you like this video thumbs down if you didn't if you didn't like it hey let me know in the comments why you didn't like it maybe I can improve in the next one and uh, subscribe for more hopefully more great videos thanks guys see you later bye bye